There are no requirements to have sterile agents used for antisepsis in skin preparation for surgery. And the reason for that is really quite interesting. Back in 2012, the FDA actually held a meeting to discuss this issue. And the reason was that many of the guidance agencies had demanded that there should be sterile antiseptic agents used for skin prep for surgery. Now, at that meeting, they got together a group that consisted of the manufacturers who make these antiseptic antiseptic agents, the guidance documents, people from those agencies, and also from the FDA. And it was very clear at that meeting that the manufacturers of these agents testified that there is no way to actually make sterile antiseptic agents. And the primary reason for this is that the common method to sterilize liquids is steam sterilization. And if steam sterilization were used on these antiseptic agents, it would destroy the properties of the antiseptic agent. Therefore, there's no way that the manufacturers at this point in time could actually even provide sterile antiseptic agent. Now, it was clear from the FDA's findings that they accepted this uh, component and they did agree that it seemed at this point that there was no ability to actually produce sterile antiseptic agents. Furthermore, there was a review of the published literature and it's very clear that it doesn't seem that there's any added safety if sterile agents were used compared to the current agents that are used. And it's really important to recognize that just because a product, an antiseptic agent for preoperative use, is not labeled as sterile, it doesn't mean the product is contaminated. And in fact, there's very stringent guidelines in terms of the production and the level of microorganisms that can be present in these products. If a healthcare worker touched the 3M product that is not labeled as sterile and they got some on their gloves, in my opinion, that is not a problem at all. The product has been stringently tested and the likelihood that there would be any contaminating organisms in it is exceedingly unlikely. And therefore, by touching their gloves or getting it on their gloves, they're not contaminating their gloves and it's no different than the antiseptic agent touching the skin of the patient. That is not contaminating the skin of the patient, nor is it contaminating the gloves of the healthcare worker that's going to be applying that agent to the skin.